Hi everyone, my name is Stephen and welcome to Southern Thailand. I just arrived at GoEco's Marine and Environment Conservation Project. I am so excited to show you what you get up to if you decide to volunteer here. Good morning everybody. We've come to this beautiful little island over here and we're actually here to do some conservation through like marine life. We've got the scuba gear ready and we're gonna go down and we'll tell you about what we're doing soon. It's a bit heavy. Done. Oh, heads up. There goes our cement blocks. Whoa! Big cement blocks. You have to do it fast. <sighs> go Steve, you have to do it quick, quick, quick. Bye! Woo! 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 Can you stop polluting the water? <laughs> this is our coral that we're gonna go and plant down at the bottom of the ocean. Right. How many screws are there? Cool. There you go. And a coral. So we're currently rehabilitating the coral reef. How far are you two stabbing it? Just so it doesn't move. For three years now, they've been getting volunteers to come here and put those cement bricks down into the ocean and they're planting coral. We're off to that island. That was so cool. We saw some that were from three years ago that have grown so much. There's now fish everywhere. We just planted some more and they're trying to like rehabilitate the coral reef and get it back to what it was like at this island. And it is a very beautiful island. Alrighty, it's now free time for the volunteers. So we're gonna go for a bit of a snorkel, a bit of an explore, and I might actually head out to that little island we've docked next to. We're trying to do a thing. <laughs> The drone is in that bag, so uh, good luck, Steve. He wants to go fly it from out there. <laughs> Do you feel okay? I feel Ah, we just got back onto the land. What a beautiful day! That island we that I, that island we went out to was so tropical. Such a paradise out here. Our ride has arrived. <laughs> You're like ready for the tropical life. Whoa! Oh. A white shirt. Yeah. Oh, So another part of the volunteer project is assisting with the blue crabs. Now the fishermen here, they do fish the blue crabs. However, to assist with repopulating the blue crabs, they actually have an agreement with the fishermen that if they get a female blue crab that has babies in them, the volunteers come and they look after them and they put them into large tanks until the babies are born and then they move them into smaller tanks until they're ready to be released back into the wild and then they can repopulate. So it's kind of keeping a cycle so that they don't overfish the Aries here. That's yeah, it, pregnant. Mm -hmm. oh, really, is that yeah. the yeah. Eggs there? Yeah. Wow. Wow. 
Mm. So got little oxygen pumpers to make sure that the water where the crabs are in have oxygen. So this is the eggs after one week. The ones before when they're black is when they're ready to come out, but this is very fresh. So currently just walking through the fisherman village, just going to check out all the different uh, crabs that they have. So that's just a crab farm just over there. The main objective for this volunteer project is to actually work with the locals. We are at a fishing village here in Thailand and we're trying to help work with the locals and the community to, you know, better assist them, to create a sustainable way of life for them here. Hello! Aww. They're so cute! Oh my gosh, the little kittens come up, say hello! So another aspect of this project is doing conservation of the environment. We're just going to head out and go plant some mangroves. <laughs> We hit a sandbank. Huh? We're gonna have to get in. <laughs> 15, 20 minutes Do you up. Have to get out and push. So we're hopping out. Woo! Enjoy the slime underneath your feet. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh beautiful. <laughs> How you feel? How you feel? Squishy. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. It's like it's free massage. This is the this is the free time massage. I just love how we jump straight off a train onto a boat and into the mud. We're currently at a mango, by the way. We're gonna go plant some new baby mango trees. Mangrove. mangrove. Not mangoes. Mang mangrove. Wait, put the word here so they know what I'm talking about. Mangrove tree. And there's also crabs. So they're trying to rehabilitate the area. Oh my goodness, my I just went like a full leg in. I know. <laughs> trying to re rehabilitate the area <laughs> by planting some more mangroves and I just don't want to fall over right now. So these ones were planted about six months ago and they're coming along nicely. Where do you the hole? Is it this one? Oh! Half yeah. of it. <laughs> Can you hear that? Yeah, I'm too excited <laughs> for that. Okay. And then... And then use your hands. What? <laughs> are, you sure? are you sure you don't want to use your hands? So this yeah. is the shell and then you have to pull it out very slowly. Slowly, slowly. Ah. It's scary. I feel like I'm going to kill it. Uh, uh. Uh. Can I try? You killed can it. Try? Jess, you killed it. You're good. Oh, oh no. Oh, Let's Guys, you know what solves all of life problems is a shower after a long travel day. I feel so refreshed. I'm just walking around a little homestay. It's got character. Uncle it's kind of cool. House. Uncle Jin. Is, that his name? is it Uncle Jin? You're smothering on your mozzie stuff. Yes. And this is our carriage to get us to dinner. Tonight we have a pad thai. I have one serving of pad thai. That's so gross. That is. <laughs> Embarrassing. A local just gave us a mango, by the way. A mango each, so that's gonna be our dessert. Time to go home. <laughs> you look so awkward. <laughs> the homestay we're staying at has a Santa at the front. They know me too well. And a Christmas tree. So the owner of the place was called Uncle Min, and he's letting us stay here. You get a big bed, and then there's a small bed, I guess, if you don't want to share a bed. <laughs> Got a couch. Got a couch. TV. A fridge, a TV, aircon, always a plus. Shelving here, and then this is the bathroom and the shower. And yeah, that is what the accommodation is like. Pretty good. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. I think the highlight was being able to leave my little mark there, and I'm definitely coming back to see how the coral has grown in a few years time. But if you were interested in volunteering here, just head to goeco.org and they have all the information on the project. See you guys next time.